Well, turns out everything we've been reading is true. There are two new iPhones out this week, and the big word is size. These two new iPhones are slightly less tiny than before. They're beautiful, rounded edges now. They're thinner than any other iPhone or any Samsung phone. I mean, really thin. So just how big are they? On this model, the screen is 5.5 inches. That's even less small than the Samsung Galaxy S5. OK, people with little pinheads might think it looks a little weird to talk into something this big. Hello? But when you're using it, big is nice. Maps, videos, photos. Big is also nice when you're over 40, because you can enlarge the type. This is the other new model, the one I call the iPhone 6 mini. It's also less small than the old models, but most people don't realize that until they see the two side by side. Now, like most people, I have little tiny hands. So Apple has moved the power button over here instead of on top. And many apps rotate now, including the home screens and mail. And what if you want to tap something at the top of the screen? Uh, uh, my tiny thumb is too short. Easy. You touch the home button twice and the screen drops down so you can reach the top half. Click. The iPhone 6 also introduces a new way to pay for stuff called Apple Pay. With Apple Pay, you pay for stuff just by waving your phone at these little terminals. You don't even have to wake up the phone. You just have your thumbprint on the reader here. That's the reason it's secure. No one could ever steal your phone and then buy stuff because they don't have your thumbprint. Oh. And also, it doesn't start working until October. The camera is incredibly good. It now uses what's called phase detection autofocusing, super fast focusing, or smooth refocusing during filming. The iPhone 6 Plus also has an optical image stabilizer. But does it work? It works. And there's a super slow motion feature now, 240 frames per second. Now, Android phones have really been giving Apple a big headache. Android phones were the first to have bigger screens, wireless payments, optical stabilizers, and even phase detection focusing. This time, Apple is the follower. Do you know what? I'm not sure it matters. If you're part of the Apple ecosystem, you're not going to switch. You already have an investment in computers and apps and an iTunes account. And now you can have state of the art without sacrifice. Besides, the hardware is only half the story. These phones run iOS 8 software, and it's really pretty great. It's got time lapse. Dictation accuracy has been drastically improved, period. Siri hardly ever misses now, period. Word predictions that learn. Look at how little actual typing I have to do. And iOS 8 is free to everyone, even if you don't buy one of these little tiny iPhone 6s. So overall, I think these new less small iPhones really are big news. I think Apple took a roll of the die and came up with a couple of winners.